Hello and welcome to Coaching Overwatch, where we discuss a variety of topics to improve our understanding of coaching in Overwatch. I'm Coach Sexy, let's get started. On your screen, you can see all the topics I'm looking to explore over the next month or so, with one bite-sized video per topic. I have a certain order in mind, but if a particular topic interests you, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to get to that one more quickly, although no promises. So today, we're discussing asking questions. Like in many leadership-based positions, your ability to lead really stems from your ability to simply talk and listen. In other words, communication. And one of the most powerful tools in communicating is asking questions. It's also a very versatile tool. And if it's done properly, you can exhibit characteristics like empathy, curiosity, intelligence, and you can show intent really well with questions. So how do you generate high quality questions? Let's talk about that. All right, number one, be as specific as possible. Ambiguity in a question is more likely to lead to an unproductive response, which we do not want. Number two, keep the question as simple as possible. Concise questions are usually well met. Number three, be assertive and confident, but not aggressive or accusational. This comes down to both language and tone, but tone is usually more important. Remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Before we get into our example, let's talk about how to receive a response. Number one, don't interrupt. This is absolutely critical and everyone does it at times, especially when you think you already know how the other person is going to respond. So be mindful of this and you'll get better. And if you do interrupt on accident, you can catch yourself and say something like, sorry, please continue. Number two, repeat key points from their response. This lets the person know you understood them and allows for them to clarify any misunderstandings. Number three, keep following the breadcrumbs. Good questions should keep leading to other good questions until you get to a strong conclusion. That's the goal. You're trying to reach a very strong conclusion. And if there's a logical follow-up, ask it. If there's something in the response that leads to an illogical or flawed conclusion, then dig into that. But remember, don't come across as accusational or even condescending. Okay, let's look at some sample dialogues. Let's say we're doing a one-on-one -on -one VOD review with a player and the coach says, did the enemy have any hit scan that round? No, I don't think so. I think you're right. Would we consider going far versus this comp on this map? Yeah, that can work. If we force them to go Woody here, that's good for us, and then I can swap to something else. Okay, so we think Farah is solid here. What would you consider swapping to in the scenario where they counter the Farah with Widow? Hmm, probably Genji, maybe Hanzo. I think those are great picks. What would be the deciding factor between the two? I'm not sure. Well, first I would suggest asking your teammates after losing a fight. Otherwise, I would default to Hanzo as the angles for Genji aren't as strong here. Okay, so let's break this down. As you can see, the coach already had in mind what he or she wanted with this first question right here. But instead, this coach walked the player through the logic as opposed to going straight to the conclusion, which was wanting the Farah pick. That was, that was the conclusion the coach was looking to reach. Now, some people are very resistant to going straight for the conclusion. That's why this, this methodology works a little better. Also, as you can see, this facilitated a better discussion because more learning occurred as the, converse, as the conversation continued, this, this entire part right here. So this will ultimately create a better team atmosphere. Also note how in the last exchange right here, the player was unsure of the better decision. This is the player inviting the coach to guide them. So being direct without a question is probably better here. No need to force a question if it's not necessary. Okay, now let's compare this dialogue to others. We could go far here since they don't have hit scan. Okay, that statement can just bounce right off of them. And if they respond with no because X, Y, Z, then the conversation is now much more likely to be counterproductive and a little bit volatile. Even worse, you could ask a question which is accusational, like, why didn't you go Farah here? You can imagine a player not responding too well to that. However, don't beat yourself up if you do this. We're all human. Just try to limit these kinds of questions as much as possible, as they can wreak havoc on the mindset of players. You'll get better over time. And if you do catch yourself doing this, don't be afraid to call yourself out on it. Players typically appreciate when their coaching staff admit their flaws because it shows they can learn and grow too. Again, we're all human. So the TLDR is practice asking questions. They can prompt better discussions. They can build uh, more trust and respect. They can speed up the, the learning process and they can really help improve your team environment. So definitely practice those questions. Again, 
Asking questions is one of your most powerful tools, so wield it well. Okay, I'll link a transcription of this video below for anyone who's interested. Uh, until next time.